I'm going to tell you one story about Mr. Magic, one of the most amazing stories ever. I used to answer the phones on the Rap Attack. And at the end of the show one night, the Rap Attack was probably one of the first successful hip hop radio shows on terrestrial radio. And Mr. Magic was like probably the guy that was like groundbreaking as far as hip hop radio goes. And I used to answer the phones on it. Mr. Magic used to drink like six packs of Budweiser while he's on, like over, like constantly while he's on the air. And one night we get off the station and he's having a conversation with someone. And he's like, yo, Craig, go get my car out the parking lot. I was like, yo, I can't drive. I had to have been like 14. It's like, I can't drive. He's not listening to me. And he hands me the keys. I'm like, yo, I can't drive. He's like, oh, go get the car, man. I jump in the car in the parking lot, which was right around the corner. And I crashed into a fire hydrant and a pole and wrecked this Buick Riviera. <laughs> then he started calling me Mario Andretti on the air. <laughs> Marley, I know you're going to laugh because you remember that story too. Yes, I wrecked Mr. Magic's car at 14. <laughs> it wasn't, he was outside. We was coming down from the station and he was waiting for me to come around the corner. He heard the crash. He came around the corner and he actually laughed. I guess he had insurance, so he was good. But he was—he thought it was funny. I could have killed myself, but, you know. 